Hello, this is Bill, and today we're going to be talking about uh, installing a pair of blind bars in uh, the Zerno Z1 uh, version 2. So, first of all, the tools that we're going to need are the 2.5mm screwdriver, the 2mm screwdriver, and potentially the 1.5mm uh, as well. Uh, they should all come uh, with your uh, Zerno Z1. Also, I'm going to use the cleaning brush, and we're also going to need a flathead screwdriver that is not provided. Op optionally, we're going to need the paper clip uh, to take out the uh, existing pair of bars. So, first things first, uh, we're going to start by unplugging the coffee grinder. I always do that for safety. Um, just make sure there's no power in it, just so we don't accidentally turn it on while we're working on it. Uh, then I'm actually going to take the funnel. It's just a little easier to work on stuff that way, and it's very easy to uh, install and uninstall. Uh, I usually do that by twisting and pulling up, and the funnel is out. So then I'm going to uh, take off the front of the coffee grinder using the 2mm screwdriver. I'm going to... Uh, take out one screw fully without actually removing it. Just make sure that the screw is remote uh, is out. Uh, and then while I support the front uh, with my hand, I'm gonna unscrew the other screw. I just uh, do that to make sure that the front doesn't uh, fall off uh, while I'm taking out the other screw. So the other screw is removed. Uh, we're also gonna take out the spout. So now we can take out the front. Uh, there might be uh, some uh, ground coffee in there if you've used your coffee grinder and this would be a good time to uh, give it with brushing. This one is a brand new front, so there's actually no coffee in it. Uh, then I'm gonna take out the pre-breaker. It's a pre-breaker that I've used. Um, this one does have some coffee in it. Use the time to actually clean it up. Uh, the brushes pretty stiff so I usually use this stabbing motion to get into uh, some of the crevices, brush off some of the coffee, uh, just make sure that everything is, is nice and clean. I purposefully picked this one because it's a more uh, realistic uh, situation of uh, what of, of changing the burst versus starting with a with a completely clean grinder. Um, then uh, I'm going to use the uh, 1.5 millimeter screwdriver. If there's any coffee in the set screws over here, you can usually clean it off with, with this one. Uh, since it's a very small screwdriver, it's pretty good for cleaning out any coffee. Uh, then I'm going to use the uh, 2 millimeter screwdriver to actually loosen the set screws. Uh, we're going to loosen them just a bit, not much. You're going to notice that my set screws are a little tight. Uh, that's because all the new grinders that we're shipping uh, ship with a little bit of Loctite on those screws and that is uh, blue Loctite 243 right here. Uh, so if your grinder shipped without that uh, you can add it. It's a non-permanent uh, uh, tread lock so it's just going to make them a little uh, harder to come out during grinding. Uh, so I'm going to loosen those and then I will use the front of the flathead screwdriver to clean out any coffee that's in my uh, burr screws. And you can see that there is actually a little bit of coffee there. The screwdriver is a little small for these screws, but uh, it will work out. Uh, and this is the purpose why we use uh, flathead screws uh, on the burrs, since they're a lot easier to actually clean up with the screwdriver, just like this. And then they come off pretty uh, easily. So the screws are out, two out of three, and the third screw is out as well. There we go. Now usually I tap off the burr in my hand and the burr comes right off, just like this. It's gonna loosen it right up. Now this one has a uh, Mazer uh, 233 bars in there. They're a little tight, and you're gonna notice that uh, when taking out the bar. So I'm gonna put the rotary bar aside, I'm gonna put my pre-breaker aside, and I'm gonna focus on the stationary bar. So same motion, clean off the screws, uh, loosen them a bit, uh, 
one screw is out second screw comes out and then the third screw is going to come out as well there we go these are gone now again i'm going to use the uh, one and a half millimeter screwdriver to clean up any coffee in these uh set screws there's less of a chance that these would have any coffee in them but just in case i always clean them up i'm going to use the two millimeter screwdriver to loosen those a little bit and the last one now make sure that your birds don't actually fall off although it is not very likely since they have that uh, foam pad behind them now these would be pretty well they actually came right off um well that's because i didn't install the foam pad of these haha <laughs> uh if the foam pad is on there um they may stick a little bit to it there is actually a hole in the back and you can use the provided uh black paper clip i'm using red in the video just so it's easier to see but there's a little hole that you can use to poke the screw out and that's going to loosen it uh to uh, push the thread out uh, the bar out i'm sorry and that's going to loosen it right up uh, and it's going to send it out so next thing we're going to do is we're going to give this part a good cleaning uh, it's pretty important that uh, the burr bed is clean when installing the new burrs whereas the new burrs may not uh, sit very well like you can use the back of the brush to get any coffee out of there you can tap with your hand and you can try to get everything you can out of here but the most important part is this face right here and this other uh, aligning diameter right here so these two must be pretty clean next we're gonna grab the uh, pins that actually should have come with your z1 there's six pins uh, and there are three pairs there's a bit of a difference between them so we're gonna take a look at them right here in my hand you can see that some of them are full length and others are actually ground down a little bit very obvious which one is which when they sit by each other ground down ones they're flat on the bottom the full length ones are not um, so the ground ones are for your pre-breaker and uh, the full length ones are for the stationary burst uh, so i'm gonna grab the three um and three uh full length pins um and these pins uh go where the screws for your purse were so we're gonna add them in one by one uh, and that's why i'm using such a small screwdriver a uh, flathead screwdriver just a little easier to add these with it uh, give them a good tighten make sure they're all the way in uh, and we must do all three of them so these are going to be the pins that are actually gonna uh, help set your new uh, blind burrs in place so screw number two is in and now we're gonna do the third one let's give it a good try there we go and this might give you a little trouble it takes a little bit of getting used to it but uh, once you get used to it they're pretty easy to install uh, i'm gonna give the burr bed a little bit of brushing just in case i've knocked over any grounds or anything like that just making sure everything is sitting flat now we're gonna grab our bars um these ones are labeled rotary and fixed it's pretty obvious what goes where uh you may see top and bottom uh with top and bottom bars uh, the top one is the stationary the bottom one is the rotary so we're gonna grab the fixed ones and the holes on the back should line up with the pins so i'm just gonna put it any way i can i'm gonna give it a little twist till they snap in now it's pretty key uh, to make sure your burr is seated well uh, and on the stationary one uh, you can just push on it you can try to give it a little twist you're gonna hear a little bit of knocking a little bit of play that's a good thing if the burr rocks back and forward that means that your burr is not seated well so you should give it a few pushes to make sure that the burr actually sits well this one is seated pretty well because i can actually rotate it left and right now next i'm gonna 
uh, tighten up the uh, radio screws on the side with my two millimeter screwdriver. I'm gonna do all three. And if you want your bar absolutely perfectly centered, you can just get them snug and then you can go ahead and tighten them after that. You don't have to tighten them a lot, but they do have to be nice and tight. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And the stationary bar is... Now we're gonna give the rotary pre-breaker uh, a little more cleaning, uh, a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of brushing first. Uh, if there is any, if there is any debris, uh, make sure we actually get it all nice and clean. And then we are going to go and install the radio screws. Again, these are the uh, radio screws that actually uh, are ground on the bottom, so they're going to be nice and flat. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of practice to actually learn how to get them in, uh, but uh, once you get a feel for it, it's fairly um, straightforward fairly straightforward to do that I'm just gonna get them started by hand and then um, I'm gonna uh, finish them off with the screwdriver now you're gonna notice that they're right by the wipers which makes them a little more difficult to install but uh, actually uh, it's a little better uh, for the uh, alignment of the burrs since the radio screws actually push them against uh, the pins when you get everything installed so you're going to notice that they're going to sink in a little bit and uh, we're going to do this one next there we go nice and tight and now we are going to do the last one i'm going to verify that they don't uh, stick out the back again that's why they're ground so they are actually uh, a little sunk in on the part on the back of the rotary um, we are gonna go ahead and uh, give this guy one less clean you know if there's any debris uh, get it out of here that's how you're gonna get the best alignment so that's the rotary bar goes in just like this uh, and again make sure your radio screws are actually sufficiently unscrewed and you're going to notice again that these are a little tough that's because they do have the deadlock tight on them because uh, if they're not uh, sufficiently unscrewed actually your burr is going to get stuck on them so now we are going to rotate the burr if it engages with the pins and there we go i'm going to give the burr a good look make sure there is no light shining through and then i'm actually going to give bar uh, a little push so I usually grab it like this I push it with my hands like this and what I'm looking for is a rocking so if there's any rocking means that the bar is not um, seated properly so we should either try to snap it in or we should take it out just like this and try to reseat it again in a different position see this one did not it's seated right so we're gonna go ahead and snap it in and make sure there's no rocking there should be a little bit of twisting and that's usually a good indication that everything is in a good spot i'm gonna triple check our work and then we're gonna tighten the radio screws it's very important always remember to tighten the radio screws and again here we're gonna get them snug first and then we're going to give them a good tighten all the way. Don't over tighten them because then you might actually uh, bend out uh, these wipers. So snug, not very, very tight. It's kind of the key here. And I'm going to do the last one. There we go. We're all set with the burrs. Uh, now we're going to install pre breaker in should go in just like this um, some pre breakers uh, may uh, go in in only one position and that's perfectly fine just use the position that the pre breaker goes in um, something that I would like to check is uh, if everything is nice and clear so I usually grab the back of the grinder 
give the pre-breaker a little push like this uh, and make sure that everything is seated properly. I may also try to take a look at it from the side. So if I push it, I'm gonna look if everything is making a nice contact. Just another way to uh, inspect your work. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, and install the front of the grinder. Now that I've made sure that everything is in place, the radio screws are tightened in. I'm gonna put in uh, the two screws on the side of the cap. Um, Another thing that I'm going to do is, after I install the cap, I'm going to make sure that it's properly aligned by checking these two screws. I'm going to give the cap a little push. And what I'm doing here is, I am making sure that the cap can go all the way in. And actually, I'm going to turn this so we can see that this one is not going all the way in. Uh, there is a little bit of light coming through actually all the way over here that's because i had measure bars before which are lower and now i'm trying to install ssp bars which are higher um so um switch between those two bars uh we should uh go ahead and loosen the adjustment dial uh by about the full turn maybe turn and a half even uh, so now we're gonna uh we're gonna give it a little push and now we're gonna see that everything actually sits properly and everything uh, aligns well. Uh, so now I'm gonna tighten the, the front screws. Usually grab the grinder with one hand since it's unplugged, I grab it like this. I can lock in my hand behind the stand. I can just hold it like this while I uh, tighten all the screws. That's just gonna make uh, things a lot easier uh, during this step. So we're gonna go all the way with this screw and then we're gonna go all the way with this screw. If we hold the front cap like this, uh, we don't have to do a little bit with one screw, do a little bit with the other screw. And if we don't hold the cap, we're gonna have to uh, tighten them in steps and it's just a lot more work. So make sure this one is snug. Make sure this one is snug as well. Uh, we don't have to over tighten these screws, just snug is uh, usually fine. Now since these are blind bars, I want to go ahead and get them seated all the way. So I'm going to give this guy uh, the adjustment knob a good tighten. I'm going to go all the way to the end, which is somewhere right here. I'm going to give it a tighten, maybe another 100 microns. Don't go too much. Just give it one, two, three. That's just going to sit seat things in place. They're naturally going to get seated uh, over the course of using the grinder, but if we want to avoid any um, zero point shifts by 510 microns, uh, we can do that, and it's definitely going to lessen that uh, to a certain degree. Do not do that on the lunch edition grinders, they use uh, different bearings in here. Uh, these ones uh, use a roller bearing, and this move is, is uh, safe with them. So now we're going to uh, set the uh, zero point of our new burst. Uh, since we're sitting, switching between uh, Mazar and SSP, the zero point is going to be a lot different. Uh, so we're going to take off this wooden cap and, um, and then we're going to uh, plug the grinder back in. You're going to notice that I'm using the white cord over here uh, versus the black one that comes with this one. It's just what I have on hand. Uh, and then we're going to uh, turn on the grinder and we're going to listen for the first chirp of the burst. Uh, I know where my burlock is, uh, somewhere right uh, around 150. So I imagine my chirp is gonna be somewhere in this area. I'm gonna start at 300 and start going back. Like that. You hear the first chirp right around here. Um, I'm gonna loosen the screw on the front a little bit. Uh, make sure that the uh, adjustment knob is uh, is loose. I'm gonna hold it with one hand and adjust the dial. Uh, maybe I should have gone the other way to the actual zero point. And now holding the knob, I can uh, tighten this screw. Just snug. We don't have to over tighten this screw. It does not play a role in alignment. Uh, and then we can put uh, the wood cap uh, back in. Now everything is nice and ready to go. Uh, we can optionally uh, check where our 
uh, full touch for the burrs, burrs is, which on this grinder is right around 20 microns, I would say. Um, when you do that, uh, you can just usually uh, look for the first point when there is a lot of resistance. Uh, obviously, I can go a little bit further, but uh, this further part is just pushing the bearings. Uh, so our full touch is right over here, minus 20. Some people prefer to set their zero on uh, a burlock or full touch. Some people prefer to set it on uh, first chirp. The Zernos, the, the Z1s that usually ship out from us, they're set, uh, the zero is set to uh, the first chirp of the burst. You're more, more than welcome to change that. Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the funnel back in. This guy usually just goes like this and give it a little twist, push. Everything goes right in. The spout is gonna go in. Uh, we should probably go ahead and clean off any uh, grounds that came off of the grinder. And uh, everything is ready to go.